All right, we're back with another program. Glad to have you with us. Good morning. We're glad you're here. And uh, we're going to have a great time as we're studying the book of Matthew. Now, I'm so happy to have Trish at my side. How do you like this new format? Well, I love it. I'm learning as we go here. And I like it because I've got you at my side. I hope you guys like it. If you do, you know what to do out there on Facebook. Like, comment, share, <clears throat> get some traffic going. We're studying what we're calling the Matthew 24 parallel. As we get farther into these verses of Matthew, we're going to parallel exactly the sequencing and chronology of this chapter with the book of Revelation. We learned yesterday in the book of Revelation, blessed are they that read and heed these things that are saying. So you're going to learn things. It's going to be easy to understand. Now let me say up front, the things in Matthew 24 that deal with the tribulation period, we are not in it right now. Coronavirus it may not be as bad as it's been made out to, to be. We certainly aren't as it was in the Dust Bowl and the Depression and World War I and II. But the things that are happening before our eyes right now are setting us up for what is going to come in the book of Matthew, chapter 24. So let's start by looking at the 23rd chapter. There Jesus, I mean, he gave it to the scribes and Pharisees with both barrels. Woe is you, doctors of the law and Pharisees. And then he spoke to his people Israel uh, in verse 37, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how often would I have gathered you as a hen gathers her chickens under her wings, but ye would not. Now, before I get started today, I want you to look at that thought, ye would not. I want everybody listening to say, I'm not going to say that to the Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Whatever you want, because that's the key of success and victory and warding off this coming time of judgment that's coming to this planet. Now, he came to his own, his own received him not. The Israelites said no to the Lord. They will say yes, thank God he's coming back to set up a kingdom for his national people of Israel. But in verse 38, behold, your house is left to you desolate. And we know that desolation came upon the nation. Uh, in chapter 24, verse 1, the next verse, it says that Jesus went out and departed from the temple. So, because they didn't receive the Lord, he left the temple. Now, here's what I want you to know today. If we don't say yes to Christ, the same one who left the temple can leave your church, he can leave your family, he can leave your nation. So the first key is that we have to accept Christ and make him Lord over our lives and our nations. And then the disciples said to him, Lord, look at all of these great buildings of the temple. I want you to understand that what we're going through right now is to get us our eyes off of churches, off of mega churches, off of the temple and the building. Because right now you're not meeting in a temple, you're meeting in your home. So he's trying to bring us back to primitive Christianity. And then verse two, he said to them, do you not see all these things? Wake up. Assuredly, I say unto you, there shall not one stone be left here upon another that shall not be thrown down. We know that historically when General Titus of the Roman legions came to conquer Jerusalem, there was not one stone left standing upon another. Well, that's what's happening right now. God is shaking us back down to our roots. Isn't he? Yes, he is. Isn't that what's happening? Yes, he's shaking everything. The economy, the schools, uh, families, um, everything worldwide. And I just want to say, don't let that shake your faith. I should let don't you let talk more, shouldn't faith. I? Amen. <laughs> There's a whole lot of shaking going on. And coronavirus and everything that's happening right now is shaking us back to raw primitive Christianity. And I think that's very important. Why is that? The temple fell, why? Because the cornerstone was removed. You know, the, 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 the whole building is built on the cornerstone. The Bible says that Jesus is the chief cornerstone. Well, he's got to be the main corner of your family, of your marriage. Why do marriages fail? Why are families falling apart? Why do churches not succeed? Why are nations right now on the brink of economic and spiritual disaster? One thing, the house is left to you desolate. Why? Because you didn't receive Messiah. Let me assure you today, Jesus is waiting with arms right open, saying to America like he did Jerusalem, how often would I have gathered your children together as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings, but ye would not. I believe that we're going to have revival, and I believe that America, and I hope every nation watching today, is saying we're putting the cornerstone back under the under the building. Christ is going to be first. And he said, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added. So, 
Think about that today. We're going to be back tomorrow with more on the Matthew 24 parallel. Right. And don't be shaken. God bless you.